Hi there. We're going to graph a parabola. Here it is. It looks particularly ugly. Um, we're going to uh, change the window of the graphing calculator in order to see the vertex and the x-intercepts. A little better. There now. That's brighter. Okay, so I altered the window and found out just through trial and error that um, going from negative 4 to positive 7 on the x-axis, we might even make that positive 6, <clears throat> worked best for me along with going from negative 5 to 5 on the y-axis. And again, that's the picture I got. I think I'll be able to see the vertex and the two x-intercepts pretty clearly. Okay, let's find uh, let's find out what these points are. Second trace. Well, if you look closely, well, wait a minute. Whoa, that's gigantic. Down, down. Wonder what happened there. Um, if we go back to graph for a minute, you see that we have an inverted parabola and the vertex is the maximum point. So when I go to the calculate menu, which is second trace, I'm going to select maximum. Oop. Now left bound means am I to the left of the maximum and yes, but I'd like to be a little more to the left just so it's visible. So there we go. Left bound, here's the vertex, and I'm on the left of the vertex. That's what a left bound is. So I'll hit enter. Notice there's now a little line going up and down representing the left bound. Now it's telling me move to the right bound. Okay, so I'll move about the same distance to the right of the maximum point and I'll hit enter. And now guess means move back to where I guess the maximum might be. So it's going to be around in there. Notice how we've now trapped the maximum point between the left bound and the right bound. I'm going to hit enter and now I see that the maximum point is this 1.81 2.15 and we are indeed going to round our um, 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 our coordinates to the hundredths place, which is two, two um, uh, decimal places. I'm looking for a pin here, and I don't know what, ah, there's my pin. Okay, the reason I want a pin is I want to actually write down these, um, these coordinates. 1.81 and 2.15. Okay. So here we go. The vertex is a point. I'm going to put it in parentheses. 1.81, comma, 2.15. close parens. Check answer. Told it's okay. Alright, now determine a reasonable viewing rectangle on your graphing utility and use it to graph the quadratic function. Sounds okay to me. Now I really liked my graphing window. But notice here,
I'm going to go with D. Ah, it caught me. Okay. All right, all right. I suspect it's B. In fact, B is really the only thing it could be. There. All right, now, the x-intercepts, we have to find those. Those are a pain, but we can do it. All right. I'm going to start at that x-intercept right there. Now, I'm going to go to 0. Okay, 0 is the name for the x-coordinate of the x-intercept. It's actually also a little more complicated than that, but for now, let's just leave it there. All right, left bound. Am I on the left of the left x-intercept? No, I'm not. So I have to move to the left. And that'll be my left bound. Now it wants right bound, so I move to the right. Now I guess by trying to jump on top of the left x-intercept and I hit enter. All right, so what is this? I am going to be rounding to the nearest hundredth, okay, so that will be negative 0.54, comma, zero. Ah, but I can't stop there, so I put a comma here, and I get ready to go through this little song and dance again. Okay, second trace. Zero. Yes, I'm on the left, but I really want to be closer. I'm looking for this x-intercept now, so I'm going to let my left bound be... I don't know, looks good, about there. And then my right bound will be about here. And my guess will be about there. All right, this is a number so close to zero, it might as well be zero. This shows that the calculator is getting tired. So I'd better turn him off before the next video. But our x-coordinate is going to be 4.16, and then we'll put a zero in here. So let's see, let's come back over here. 4.16, zero. Now let's see how this goes. Woo! Thank goodness. Okay, I think we're done. That's it for now. See you later. I'm going to let the poor calculator rest.